in the woods, and at the end of that path is a cabin, and in the basement of that cabin is a princess. You're here to sleep. I'm talking about the end of everything as we know it. Don't... Look, you're already on the path that... While I appreciate the mental... Nevertheless, let me assure you, and before you decide to waste even more of our time by asking how I know that, causality doesn't matter here because the end result is the same no matter what led us up to this point. It's no use arguing semantics over a man less, of course. You do your job and slay her. Does it? Are you a monarchist? Oh, if only that were the case. But I have to say, I'm surprised at your reluctance thus far. Like I said, I don't make the rules, no matter how much I wish I did. Of course I haven't. Why would I even consider that? Nobody wants the world to end. I mean, maybe some people do, like nihilists, or very, very... Yes, but you'll have to slay her before you get it. It's a secret, but I think you'll like it. It's a special reward, just for you. Then each and every one of us. So sure, go talk to her. See how that turns. You make your way up the short path to the cabin. We're not going to go through with this, right? Ignore him. The interior of the cabin is almost entirely bare. The blade. The door to the basement creaks open. Rev Her voice. Who's there? She sounds. Don't let it. F oh, it's been so long since anyone's come down here. I was starting to think they'd forgotten about me. You walk down the stairs and lock eyes with the princess. She's focused on the task at hand. And there you are. Are you here to kill me or something? How about you drop the knife and the two of us just... Look how reasonable she's being. We should just drop the blade and talk. Don't you dare. It's fine. We can... Blade tumbles out of your trembling hand. Thank you. Against your better judgment, you step forward to speak with the princess face to face, unarmed. We'll be fine. I don't know what you're hoping to accomplish here, but I can assure you- So here we are. What an awkward start to a relationship. Is that why they threw me down here? But I don't want to hurt anyone. I don't remember much about it, to be honest. I've been down- Just how long has she been down here? If I'm supposed to be capable of ending the world, then how did I wind up here, chained to a wall? Have they told you why I'm allegedly so... dangerous? Thanks for the vote. What if they're bad reasons, though? If they had good re At the end of the day, whatever the- Whoever sent you to- That doesn't sound right- She has a point. So, like, but you don't really know me, do you? What can my word possibly be worth in- She's right about one thing. Her word isn't worth anything. Like I said, it's all about trust. Blind- tr So do you trust- She's wrong. Too long. Again, she offers no specific. She hesitates before answering. You can address me as your royal highness, or her majesty. 
Any honorific should do, really. Don't jump to any weird conclusion. You can't. I'm guessing you don't have the key, then. I'm sure there's a key somewhere around here, and if there isn't... Well, we can always put that knife to good use. Her sharp eyes settle on the edge of the blade. She is... She is. Oh? You... That seems like leaving her alive is too risky. If you don't... One way or... And if you don't, I can promise that you'll come to regret that decision. You have to make a choice. Oh, for the... Good. You're making a... No. You're doing the... You walk up to the... They're large and heavy. Far too solid for... If you don't have the key... Doubtful. That would be fine. I she speaks with almost comp- We were stuck down here for long enough. I'm sure we'd be nonchalant about cut. You attempt to make your way out of the basement, but the door- Is someone else here? You make your way back to the bottom of the stairs. It's easier for- Easier for everyone. I heard the door- The knife. You won't like what happens. Against your better judgment, you place the blade against the pretty cut into her flesh. The blade is sharp, and you make quick work of it. She didn't so much as utter a sound. Free, how is she so composed after losing an arm? Thank you. Now let's get out of here. No, we won't have any of that. The stakes are too high. You can't just let her escape. As the princess approaches the bottom stair, your body steps forward and raises the blade. Wait, this isn't fair. You can't just do that. Watch me. You bring the blade down and plunge it into the prince. Okay. There's no going back. Though the blade left a deep gash in her shoulder, she barely so much as flinches. Are you... I don't know what came over you. But if we're doing this, I guess I'll have to... Do you think I need both of my arms to do that? I can beat you to... But I don't have to tell you that. I'll go ahead and show you. You swing your arm towards her throat, the blade singing through the air. But she's ready for it. She grabs you, drop the blade. Pathetically. She lets go, and faster than you can react, really, there's a ringing in your ears. You fall to your knees. You're barely every blow is as punishing as the first. You feel both. You poor thing. She places a conf. Her knee falls to your throat. You can't just end. I'm sorry. But it's everything goes dark, and you die.